And there will be some definite highlights. Jamie Tilly stalling on the line. That was the start to his race three after a fantastic result in race one. But it was Jim Policina who got a lightning jump. And down the inside of Ray Hislop, he crossed the track to the inside. Here it goes. He got a fantastic jump. Grabbed the grip, way it went, down the inside, and he took the lead. Yeah, typical Policina start. So it was a great three-way battle for the lead. This was Bargwana getting down the inside of Ray Hislop. So that was second. Went on for a couple of corners. So I couldn't quite get back up the inside. So that was P2 for June. He then set out after the Holden Commodore. They were dicing for position through turn one and two. He got down the inside. That was the entry to turn two, then a wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle. That opened the door for his slot. So within the space of a few corners, Policena went from first back to third. This was great racing. What we come to expect out of these old supercars, some fantastic racing. And Jude Bagwana thing set off to, uh, to, to open the gap and, and certainly try and win the race. It was Jamie Tilly, though, that did a great job coming back through the field. Took him a long time, but he found a way through down to turn six. That was all happening. And at the same time, just up the road, Ray Hislop off the road, uh, speedway style through the gravel trap at turn one. But it was Jude with some sort of mechanical failure, we think, that put him off the road with only a couple laps to go. No one wanted to win it. Everyone wanted to throw the trophy out. And then it all come down to Jim Policina stopping, unfortunately, on the last lap. So by my maths in that race, three different drivers at one point led the round points. Jamie Tilly got the race win. Hislop somehow remarkably to second in that one. And Jared Danaher home in third.